hello guys as always welcome back to my channel and today i want to talk about a topic that's very important to me because i've seen it in so many people around me and the topic is veganism and vegetarians vegeta going vegetarian in eating disorder recovery so i started to be vegetarian when i was 14 years old that was like way before i like got into my eating disorder I actually like tried it out for six weeks and I basically never went back to eating meat. Back then I had a pretty balanced way of eating. I ate everything I wanted to. I always loved vegetables. I always loved candy, especially chocolate. So it was pretty much balanced. I loved working out, moving my body. I was 14 years old. I was a typical teenager living my life. Um, I never like ever since then, I never ate fish or meat again just because it was my personal decision. So I'm mentioning that because I want you to understand that this is nothing I judge. Like I, I'm not a kind of person that is like, sorry, I'm just looking outside, there was a hummingbird and I love hummingbirds. Um, I'm not the kind of person that judges people or that says stuff like going vegan or going vegetarian is always like um, disordered behavior. But I've seen a lot of people going vegan or vegetarian in their recovery and that is a problem to me and I'm gonna explain why. When I started my very first attempt of recovery after having disordered eating habits for like one and a half years, I was 19 years old, um, I pretty much went into the vegan direction like raw foods, vegan foods, which was of course disordered behavior. And I remember when I went to a dietitian, this was actually the only good thing she told me to be completely honest with you. I didn't have the greatest experience with her, but she was right about this. And she was like, honestly, I see like you're preparing foods, you're kind of eating a little bit more, but you always use vegan cheese and you don't use regular cheese and you always bake vegan you know, vegan pies and all that kind of stuff. Like, why are you starting to do that now? And I was like, oh, you know, I just like wanted to do it and I've been vegetarian for so long. So I thought, why not going vegan? Of course, that was not the right approach for me. And when I went to the first clinic I was in, they did not really support veganism because they knew how easy it is to go into disordered behaviors, especially if you have a history of an eating disorder already. So fast forward, you guys know I started my recovery in, like around February 2022 and about like one and a half years ago, so in January 2023, I wanted to try going vegan again. Um, I had a few friends that were vegan, vegan and I all like I always liked like the vegan alternatives and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to like try it for a couple of weeks, but I found myself in a spot where I was constantly checking labels to see if something was vegan, where I spent way more time in the grocery store than I wanted to, where I had a harder time to decide because I had to think twice if anything is vegan again. And this is when I decided not to do it. I was like, okay, if I still want to do it in like three years from now when I'm fully recovered, that's fine. But for now, I don't want to go this road. And I'm like currently in a place where I have no interest in going vegan just because for me, I know that the most balanced way of eating for me is the way I'm actually eating now, which is vegetarian, but I don't wanna like kind of like restrict anymore. I have a person very close to me who also struggled with an eating disorder for a very long time and she went vegan around the same time. I honestly don't know what came first, like if she became vegan first and the restriction kind of triggered the eating disorder or if it was the other way around but until this day I see it and I have my thoughts to it and I also talked and worked with other people who like start recovery and then they're like you know what I actually think I'm gonna go vegan like I'm, I'm not gonna restrict I'm gonna make sure I eat enough but I'm gonna go vegan so you have to ask yourself why now I understand it again I don't eat meat and I understand it like from an ethical standpoint I'm not saying eating meat is a bad thing I really don't want to judge anyone I never tried to like you know tell anyone what to do I'm not the kind of person that sits down and tells other people to stop eating meat because I am very aware that it is a personal decision and it's just like a decision for me if somebody like asks me and is genuinely interested in why I'm not eating meat I'm gonna tell them but I'm not gonna try to convince anyone so 
main things that concern me about people going vegan or also wanting to become a vegetarian in recovery are again why now if you really want to do it it's okay to wait two more years or three more years like i would advise you to do like that kind of change in your eating habits when you're at a place where you are fully recovered where you have no or like little thoughts about your body about movement all that kind of stuff when you're just starting recovery everything that might trigger some kind of restriction is too much and if we're being completely honest this kind of like eating habit will trigger restrictions because as i just mentioned you're gonna look at labels you're gonna find yourself looking for new recipes and it's exciting and i get it but is it really exciting for you or is it even more exciting for your eating disorder because then you find yourself again in a place where you concentrate on food and on meals and on ingredients and on new recipes which doesn't have to be a bad thing you can be a completely healthy balanced person and get excited about new recipes but you have to understand that we, with our background, have to be more careful. My therapist told me last year, it's like a recovered drug addict. They can never just like casually, well, which we shouldn't do anyway, but they can never casually do drugs again. So if you have some kind of addiction past in your life, you have to be more careful. And we, everyone who ever struggled with an eating disorder has some kind of addictive past. And we have to be very aware. So again, my therapist last year told me it's just like a former drug addict or somebody who used to abuse alcohol or anything like that. You can never go on a diet again. And to be completely honest with you guys, I felt relieved when he mentioned that. I was like, okay, I don't, I don't want to do that anyway. So that's great. <laughs> and now my therapist like basically forbid me to do that so even better but seriously be careful with what you're choosing and why you're choosing it if you want to go uh, vegan or vegetarian again like you will cut out certain food groups out of your diet you will find yourself looking at labels you will find yourself spending more time in the supermarket you will find yourself looking at the menu before going to a restaurant in order to make sure they have something for you all that kind of stuff and also, a lot of people that struggle with an eating disorder or are in recovery also struggle with a lot of self-hatred and guilt. So sometimes the decision to go vegan or vegetarian is actually, actually the attempt to feel better about yourself ethically because you choose to do something that is good for another living being. So just be aware of the underlying things. Again, I honestly, when I start to work with clients, I will tell them that I don't think it's a great idea. I will never tell you what to do. I don't want you to go or to do anything that you don't want to do, but I honestly think it's not a good idea. And I will definitely take my time to work out together with a client, why they want to do, make this decision, what the underlying thoughts are and all that kind of stuff. So I hope that video helped. And if you find yourself in a place where you try to decide if you want to go vegan or vegetarian, but you're also in recovery, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Maybe you also have like, certain experiences. Maybe I'm wrong. Like maybe there is someone who has like completely different experiences. So let me know in the comments, please. I can't wait to film more content for you guys. We're about to hit 100 followers, which is a huge step for me. So thank you guys for being on my channel. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos and I will see you in the next one.